serve and protect the public from criminals, but police chiefs across the country are battling bad apples within their own departments. The chiefs are finding it nearly impossible to fire some of their own officers, in part because of arbitration and union rules. Our senior correspondent John Miller served in ranking positions at both the New York and L.A. Police Departments. John, good morning. Good morning. When a police officer breaks the rules or the law, he or she is disciplined and in rare cases fired. But often that is not the end of the story. Officers appeal their cases to state arbitrators, civil service boards, and civilian commissions, and many times end up back on the job. Fire. Fire. In Oklahoma, this police lieutenant was fired for elbowing this handcuffed prisoner in the mouth. In Omaha, several cops were fired after beating a man outside a hospital. And in Philadelphia, this police lieutenant was fired after smacking down a woman at a disorderly street festival. He has appealed to an arbitrator, and his chances of getting his job back are good. In Philadelphia, nine out of ten cops fired by the police chief are reinstated by an outside arbitrator. It's a problem across the country, which is frustrating police chiefs and sheriffs. Have you fired people and had them come back? Yes, uh, and I believe that uh, that's the process. Los Angeles County Sheriff Lee Baca runs the biggest sheriff's department in the U.S. I mean, you've got people out there that you've already come to a judgment shouldn't be out there, and somebody superseded your judgment. How does that feel? Well, it, it feels that you have no control over your resources to the extent you need to have. That our judgment becomes somewhat non-significant in these certain cases. In Milwaukee, in this infamous case, an officer was fired after he was caught by a dashboard camera punching this handcuffed woman in the face. The city's civilian police commission overruled the chief and reinstated the officer. Under pressure from an outraged community, we have reached a unanimous decision. A week later, the police commission refired the officer. In Spokane, Washington, the sheriff has fired deputies only to see them back on the job. There is no clearly defined public policy against a law enforcement officer being dishonest. So Sheriff Knezevich went to the Washington State Legislature to change the law. The only thing that changes in the law is that if an arbitrator finds that a deputy has committed these crimes or they have been dishonest, the arbitrator can't overturn the sheriff's discipline at that point. As in, they can't say, yes, you committed these crimes, but you're getting your job back. The police unions in Washington State oppose the law. They believe it gives one person too much power. This legislation would allow a chief or a sheriff to make an accusation, investigate that accusation himself, be the judge and jury if that accusation was true, and then be the executor of the discipline for that. But Sheriff Knezevich believes he is the one person who's responsible for the officers under his command. I'm accountable to 471,000 people in Spokane County. They're the ones that will tell me when it's time to back down. Ozzy Knezevich testified for his bill in the Washington State Senate. It died quietly in committee a couple of weeks ago without ever getting to the floor for a vote. But just as you heard, he'll try and bring it up again, and chiefs and sheriffs in other cities are watching. So what are the ramifications of the fact that they take these cases to the arbitration boards and always or most often lose? Well, one of the ramifications is police chiefs in some places have just given up on trying to fire people because it just doesn't work. I mean, you take a case like Philadelphia. They had a police officer show up to work high on cocaine and drunk who took a police car on duty, crashed it drunk and high, was fired, and then reinstated by the arbitrators. So this is a real oh, uphill. Okay. What was the rationale for the arbitrators? Yeah, go oh, ahead. I mean, this seems like the obvious question. I mean, who's on these arbitration boards? Well, it, whether it's a civil service commission, you know, in Miami, there's a heavy influence from the union. In, in Philadelphia, um, there's an interesting makeup. But, you know, they get to a place where one of the attorneys may also do work for the union. Um, yeah. But they get to the place where they, they treat police officers like other government employees, which is, well, gee, they had an otherwise good record. Don't they deserve just one more chance? And the police chief says if they come back, I'm responsible for this person out there again. And held to a higher standard. John, exactly. John Miller, thank you. And nearly 10 years. Years after